hey, you do must be the new ranger. Yeah, the boss told me I'd be receiving a new pair of hands today. And man, I am thankful for it. It's good that we've got new people on. We have 3,200 acres and three people taking care of it at the moment. You can probably understand why we don't hire more people with all the prerequisites and NDAs that we have. While they might be for security reasons, it doesn't stop people from being spooked away. And I suppose dangerous parts of our job might be less appealing as well. There also seems to be more superstitious people around nowadays. Some seem to think forests like ours are supernatural, or have some big government secret hidden in them. It makes our job sound more interesting at least. Though I'm sure we'd be getting paid better than we are. While our wage isn't bad, we definitely aren't getting paid secret evil project type of money. Well, we may as well get on to what you'll be doing today. You don't need to stress too much, it's going to be a pretty simple first day. I just need you to go check out one portion of the southeast quadrant. We had one of our other rangers report something strange with the flora there. So, we may as well send someone out to investigate. Why didn't the other ranger check it out? Well, they were there for a routine fauna survey, checking on the wildlife and seeing if anything had changed in the environment. By the time they'd noticed the stranger parts of the flora, they'd already been late into their shift, so they made sure to note it down and recommend any other ranger just go check it out. So, after reading the report, I thought, well, why not send the new kid out there? It's pretty easy. You just go out there, write down what you see, and if you see any abnormalities, then you go and check it out. If you want, and this is completely optional, we can give you the appropriate gear to camp out there if you think you need to investigate further. Yeah, don't worry, you do get paid for your time out there, including the time you sleep. It's honestly pretty nice. You get paid to spend a night in a nice forest, and you can do whatever you like during that time. Come morning, you can cook some breakfast and then get moving and try to wrap up what you were looking into. You'll take the camping gear. Alright, too easy. I'll go grab it. If you feel like taking any extra gear or think you'll need any, there are a few extra things out the back that you can use. There we go. Well, here's all the gear. A little back work never hurt anyone. Unless you're doing it wrong. But, you know, the bags have a support system on them, so it'll be fine. Do mind where you're stepping while you're out there. It's not even terrain, and it wouldn't be too hard to roll your ankle or do any other kind of damage, and that could be a whole other problem. Oh, right, uh, here you go. I forgot to give you this. It's an emergency radio. You should only ever use it if it's a really bad situation. If you have a serious injury or are stuck somewhere, lost, it doesn't matter. You can use that to contact me or another ranger on duty. And no matter what the issue is, we'll find a solution. And if we can't figure one out, then we send someone out to go get you. There's a small medicine pack in the kit I gave you. It'll help with small cuts or if you have a bad reaction with plants and the like. Well, that seems to be everything. It's almost nine now, so I'd recommend getting a move on. It's a long trek to the southeast area, and you've got quite a lot of gear. Alright, I should see you in a day or two, and hopefully you find what the ranger reported. Alright, just take care and stay safe out there, and just use your communicator if you need to ask about anything. Alright, I'll see you then. Uh, finally caught up. I figured since there weren't many things to do or check up on, I may as well walk with you to the halfway mark. Plus, there are some things I have to check on while we're moving through these areas. Oh, I'm just making sure some of the boundaries are up and making sure that pathways and fences are still in a working state. They don't have to be perfect, but if they keep people from dangerous areas and animals off the trail, then we're all good. Hmm? What's that? 
a staircase. Oh, we don't worry about them. You might have seen something in the paperwork about it. Just don't go near them. It's better for everybody if you act like you didn't see them. It's just safer that way. Now, on to nicer things. We're coming into spring. All the plants are starting to look amazing this year. Some of them that have never bloomed before have finally get the chance to. They get to the right age where they flower, they spread their seed, and then they die. It can be a little morbid to some people, but it's just a simple cycle of life. Some living things get the luxury of living to have offspring multiple times, while others may only go through the process once, or they don't even make it to that stage. Wow. No, I said I was supposed to get onto something nicer. Sorry, I didn't really want to bring the mood down, I just kind of spewed words out. Well, back to the nice part of what I was supposed to be talking about. With all the plants blossoming and animals coming out of hibernation, you get to see the world come back to life. It's kind of revitalizing. It almost revitalizes you. You can feel yourself being filled with energy from everything around you thriving. It's definitely one of the most refreshing feelings you can get. Seeing all the things around you just jumping back into things, getting their life back on track and going about their time normally. It's nice. I know during the hiring process you had it written down that you had the training for the job but not the experience. Did you ever spend that much time out in the wilderness? Whether it was camping or just going on hikes? Oh, so you were a bit of a shut-in. Well, the more time you spend out here, the more you'll come to appreciate it. The outdoors is amazing in so many ways. Hopefully it helps you open up to the outside world. There's plenty of amazing experiences and places just waiting for you. Yeah, I sound a bit like a commercial, but it's true. Limiting yourself to the town or city you live in makes you feel like you don't need more. If you start travelling, whether it's just a little out of your area, or you take the chance and go overseas, you won't want to stop. One of the best things about going overseas especially to a country where you don't know the language, is just seeing how alien everything is to you. It might make you worry a little, but it's pretty fun for the most part. Anyway, we'll be getting pretty close to the halfway point soon. Then it's all down to you. Don't worry. If I thought this was going to be difficult or troubling in any way, I'd be going with you. For the most part, this seems routine. I have pretty good faith in you. You seem like a good kid with a great heart and a smart brain. So, I think you'll do well. Even though we've only talked a little bit in person and communicated through a couple of messages online. You seem like a genuinely good person. <sighs> Alright, here's the halfway mark. The terrain starts getting rougher from here since the track isn't used as much, so just watch your step. If you need anything while you're out here, you have your radio to communicate with us. I'll be the closest ranger to you, so if it's anything I have, I'll bring it over to the area I talked about. I'm sure I'll be able to find where you've set up camp. Well, yeah, I'll be close by. I have to head to an outpost near here. It'll be nightfall by the time I get back to the main outpost, and dusk is the most dangerous time here, so I don't want to be out in it. The outpost I'm heading to isn't far from here, but it also hasn't been in great shape for a while. I thought I might as well work on it for the week. Just a fun project while waiting for bigger things to pop up. Once you've finished up your scouting, you're more than welcome to join in. It can be therapeutic fixing things up. Anyway... We should probably start going our separate ways. We don't want to be left in the dark, so it's definitely better to get a move on. I'll speak to you in a day or so. Unless you need to contact me about anything. So I'll catch up with you later. Stay safe.
That was a lot more annoying than it should have been. But the fly's going and... Oh, I can finally lay down. These are the best sleeping bags ever. Oh god. I should probably eat something too. I feel like I should be more worried about that than I am. Okay, what is it this time? Hey, I, uh, I wasn't expecting you. Uh, hey, what's wrong? Okay, okay, just, just come inside. You can sit down here. You look pretty shaken up. And you... S and scratched up too. Can I have a look at them? You don't mind if I touch them, right? Okay. Mm. It looks like these are just from running through bushes and the like. Oh, I can feel your pulse. Shit, I can see you pulse. Your heart is just pounding. Hey, look at me for a second. Whatever happened out there, or whatever you saw, it can't affect you here. Nothing can get to you. You are completely safe with me here. Take some deep breaths, okay? Alright, just breathe in. Alright, good, just hold it for a second. And breathe out. I know it feels a little uncomfortable, but just keep that up. I'm gonna go look for my med kit so I can clean up your wounds, alright? Alright, hey, hey, you're, you're doing good. Do you feel any better? Good, good. Are uh, you able to tell me what happened? If you aren't ready, that's okay, we can talk about it in the morning. You're okay to talk? I don't want you to force yourself to already. Yeah, okay. Tell me what happened. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. I mentioned this morning that people believed in supernatural or paranormal stuff happening in places like this. The truth is, is that it's all natural, but it's just been hidden. When we start, when we start working here, we don't get told about it. We get told to shut up and forget the things that we see. I'm not supposed to tell you these things either, but fuck that. You shouldn't have been thrown in the deep end like this. I really should have stopped this from happening. It might have been clear that my reasons for coming out here were weak, flimsy at best. But I didn't want to leave you in the dark by yourself. You looked out of your element when we met, and I could tell you were new to this entire ordeal. So when I left, I felt I had to catch up and stop this from happening. When I got to you, I was surprised to see how much of a stride you had. You seemed determined to get this done. I was really proud, to be honest. Once we got to the halfway point, I could see the worry in your face. So rather than just turn around, I stayed close just so you could have somewhere safe to come to if worse comes to worse. I felt guilty over this, so I contacted someone. They're a, um... They're a dryad. I've known him for a long time, and he lives close to here. I asked him to keep an eye on you, and I th thought it was him coming to the door. No. Don't worry, it wasn't him who did this. He's as passive as can be, and he wouldn't do anything like that. He actually can't do anything like that. He's not allowed to harm any kind of animals, otherwise his pact with the forest is broken and he'll die. He would have been watching. He can tell me what he saw in the morning. You can meet him there too if you want. You'll see he isn't that bad. I know you ran here, but did you bring anything other than your torch? No, it's okay if you didn't, but gear won't be going anywhere, 
And I have spare stuff laying around. We have a few extra sleeping bags that you can take one to use. You want to put it next to mine? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah, of course. If it makes you feel more comfortable, then do what you need to do. I'll just load the fireplace up and then we can go to sleep. We definitely need to catch some Z's. Are you comfortable? Hmm. Not really. What would make it better? You... You want me to hold you? Yeah, I, I can do that. I get it. It's been a pretty traumatic night and you just want a little security. Right? <laughs> of course. Of course. Mm. Wow, you're cold. I can tell why you want to, um, to be held, sorry. You're okay with calling it cuddling? Well, you're very good at cuddling. Mm. This is way too nice. You've still got a terrified look on your face. You're still scared from earlier, right? It's okay. There's nothing wrong with being scared. It doesn't make you weaker or lesser in any way. It's completely natural to have that type of reaction. But you're here now. In a secure place, in my arms and in a warm bed. There isn't a safer place in the world. I'll do everything to make sure you're okay. Do... Do you feel safe? Or at least better than before? It's good. It's good. Hey... What's that look for? Y you want to... Yeah. That's good. Great, even. No, it's amazing. You're incredible, and I really, really do like you. But I can't help but feel this is just a little quick. I know we're in the same bed and cuddling, but we don't really know each other that much. We should talk about this in the morning. Don't get me wrong, I really do want to continue this. But when we've cleared our heads, we can talk about it more. Yeah? I'll cook something up and we can talk over breakfast. Come rest your head on me. Try rest a little. You've been through a lot. And you've put in some really good work today. You did your best. And that's all I can ask for. That's all anyone should ask for. But I think it's time to get some shut-eye. We have a big day tomorrow. Let's try and get some sleep.